Uh, honorable members, the ruling on speaking twice in a debate. Honorable members, House Chairperson Flory received a request from the EFF for Honorable Shibambu to be given another opportunity to speak using the remaining EFF time, which, which is about two, two and a half minutes. I now wish to rule on the matter. I had received advice on the matter that recently a similar request was declined and certain rules and conventions were cited. Having considered the matter, including conferring with my colleagues, I have determined that the member would be allowed with the following condition, that the matter will urgently serve before the Chief Whips Forum with a view to it reviewing a position taken in the fourth parliament that disallowed members, a member speaking twice except in circumstances where there were sponsors of an order or of a motion. My view is based on some practices that have developed, for instance, during questions or declaration of votes where members are allowed to speak more than once on the same matter. It's important that we create consistency in this matter. I now recognize the Honorable Shiva. No, thank you very much, uh, House Chair, and uh, thank you very much, National Chair of the Economic Emancipation. Order, order, Honorable Members. It's uh, a dictum which majority of you uh, ascribe to by Napoleon Bonaparte that never interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake. But the kind of mistakes that have been made here have got far much bigger implications, not just for the ruling party, but for the entire South Africa. The Minister of Electricity comes here to promise 4,200 megawatts or even 1,500 megawatts within the next 90 days. And now as part of that source, he says that we're going to take 1,500 megawatts from Lesotho. There's no hydroelectric power station in Lesotho. Lesotho doesn't have, it will never happen. Now, in terms of the appropriation that we're dealing with now, there is not a single cent allocated for the generation of electricity. Yeah, honorable, honorable. In terms Mambo. of the ESCOM rescue bill, there's a clear conditionality that there must not be an expenditure on the generation of electricity. And if we move to the 19,500, yes. Honorable Shibambo, there's a point of order. On a, take, a, take your seat, honorable member. Yeah, okay, so honorable Mashifo. What's your point of order? The order is that uh, honorable members, please our 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 noise levels are too high. Honorable members. Honorable members. The order honorable members. Honorable members, your noise levels are too high. Can we give the member a chance to say what he wants to say? Oh, the, the order I'm making is that the uh, Honorable Shimamba is, is, is misleading the house. There is a jolly power in the city. Take, uh, take a seat, Honorable Shimamba. Continue, Honorable Shimamba. I, I guess that is the levels of gullibility that gives the minister the advantage to mislead you on the number and amount of megawatts that can be brought onto the grid. Now, the, the, the issue that there is no, there's not a single cent that is dedicated for the generation of electricity in South Africa in the current financial year, and already are committing to megawatts which are not going to happen. The problem is that we're going to fold our arms and think that there's megawatts that are coming and there's nothing which is going to come. So even if you plug in all these IPPs in Northern Cape, there is no grid capacity to could bring it sustainably into the transmission lines that will become electricity. 
Stop misleading South Africa. You spent 300 billion rands in 19 years to even fail to bring 9,000 megawatts into the grid in Kusile and Midupi. But you come here and say that you are going to do 19,500 megawatts. That is misleading the nation and is disastrous because people are going to fold their arms and not do anything. Now, this is what you must do. We are going to spend 30 billion on diesel now for this period. Can we please create a conditional Are you grant debating the budget vote or are you debating so the that minister of are able to have off-grid solutions, micro-grid solutions, and hybrid solutions? Because as municipalities, we are responsible for electricity. We are in a space where we can insulate our people, particularly the essential services. From Thank you very much, Honourable Sprabe. The, the promises that you have been making Thank here you. are disastrous and misleading our people. And Honourable Sprabe, your time is up. Before we go home, thank you very much.